and welcome and thank you for joining us for our weekly wrap up for this Friday, February 2nd, 2024. Uh, thanks for joining the podcast and please do like, subscribe and share as it helps the channel grow. We're going to be covering three main points today in our succinct points of news. So our interviews start this month in February, now that we're in a new month already, and this month should go even faster than January. Uh, today we'll be interviewing with uh, Holly Celiano, returning guest. Next week we have the one and only Monday, on Monday, Greg Manorino. I know many of you are anticipating that. We are too. We're going to see how our information lines up with his so we can give you the most balanced, in-depth perspective possible. We also have Bill Holter, returning guest on Wednesday, along with Delora O'Brien. That's going to be a, another wonderful one. And then, of course, the venerable David Mahoney. We like him too. We like having his perspective. And he gives a lot of great insight and wisdom from the European perspective. Uh, we have many other great uh, interviews and podcasts this month, which we will discuss week to week. And we're already starting to line up some other great guests for March. So stay tuned for that. <clears throat> now, on to the news. I'm going to pair some things together as a lot of things correlate. Deutsche Bank is cutting jobs from 2023 jobs report. Evergrande has reported $300 billion worth of losses based on margin calls. That means the debt that they got from the losses they can't pay back. That they're owed just like if you did a sports bet and you bet a certain amount and you lost and you're not able to pay it back. Imagine that on a much grander scale. And this all has a contributory effect on the global economy naturally. Uh, we reported Tuesday about BRICS overtaking the G7 as the world's leader in GDP at 35%. There's 40 other countries vying to get into BRICS, one of which is Zimbabwe. We've talked about them at nauseum. So they can literally carry BRICS all by themselves with the amount of gold they have. Iran has officially been inducted as a BRICS member. Be watching for that. Uh, so BRICS is backing Russia's plans as part of the chair of the recent Sherpa meeting. This is a meeting that typically follows the G7 that they have usually this time of year. Price of gold is set to eclipse 10 to 15,000 this year with silver skyrocketing as well. We're looking for a one to $250 spread on silver later this year as gold moves up. More student loan forgiveness incoming this month. That's more comms along with the U.S. debt clock, which we've shown you on our Telegram channel. Uh, if you want to see all the details and articles and reports, we highly recommend, <clears throat> excuse me, if you haven't done so already, to join our Telegram channel, which you can simply find at John Dowling in the real world. And you will see the comms on the debt clock signaling the Sara Jasara, and you have student loan forgiveness. So you put those together, you can see where that clearly is lining up. <clears throat> We need to be watching this weekend closely as stock market and end of business trading today for our U.S. deep states to start attacking Iran as retaliation for the troops that were killed. That's the narrative that they're selling. Um, but we're going to see attacks on Iran, and then we'll see if Iran retaliates back. And also be watching Israel as they're going to get attacked by us, and then you'll see Iran attack back. And then we'll be watching for the inevitable uh, grave surrender and grave mistake as Israel attacks the secret nuclear power plants of Iran that we've talked about many times over, you're now starting to see it come together and proliferate in front of scenes. As the eyes come off the dinar in the Middle East, that will be a clear and present signal of what's coming ahead. <clears throat> okay, the last thing I want to talk to you about, it's not the easiest thing to discuss, but we need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation on a personal level. Call it a come-to-Jesus moment, if you will. Um, this isn't directed at the newbies who are just joining the movement, who if you've just started to buy currency, you're just getting into the reset. And this is not directed by any means at the grizzled vets who've been here for 10, 20, 30 years, because you're actively working to be self-sufficient and improve your situation. But my team shows me some of the comments, particularly on Rumble. And unfortunately, we're just seeing too much of the wrong mindset. People asking about dates and rates. What about the Zim, the agro checks, repetitive stuff about the boulevard. It's, it's like a, a, a pedantic playbook. And what that tells me is to those people I'm targeting and talking about, your mindset is not right. You have not made a mindset change. It's, it's indicative of fear and anxiety. It's laboring for you. It's laboring for us. It's unproductive. And it's just not what we're about. As I've said many times before, and apparently I have to say it again, we are fostering a culture here in a community of godly giving people <clears throat> with self-sufficiency, critical thinking skills, and a faith-based giving mindset. That's what we're about. So we're not here to sell you hopium. We're not here to enable you. We're not here to spoon feed you. You can do that on other channels. We'll tell you what you want to hear. 
we're just staying in our lane and focusing on what we're doing. They have the right to their opinion. They can do what they want to do. That's fine. But that's not what we're doing. We're focusing right here in this lane with what God is doing, plain and simple. Okay. And there's another consideration. If you're going around to 20 or 30 channels trying to chase the secret sauce to try to get uh, the hack to what's going on, you're only going to exhaust yourself, make yourself sick and frustrated. You're asking all the wrong questions. And I'm going to explain in a second. Instead of asking about when, 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 and dates and rates, why don't you just trust God and spend time with him? He's jealous and wants to spend time with you. There isn't a day goes that goes by that I don't spend time with him. And it's the most peace I get during the day, no matter what else happens in my day, be it good or bad. Just saying. So why don't you ask him if you want to know so badly? But here's the thing. You might want to consider this. And I don't hear this going on in a lot of other places. Maybe there are some channels. We just don't have the time to watch everything. We have our own stuff going on. But the U.S. Treasury-backed currency dealers here in America specifically, uh, along with um, the banks, will buy your currency. It's, it's just an exchange, okay? I've met with private bankers and wealth managers, specifically at Wells Fargo, and I've asked them, are you going to measure somebody's heart light? Are you going to have an alien there that's going to just determine whether your, your intentions are pure? I mean, it was, it was embarrassing. They, they just about laughed us out of the room, and, and I can't blame them, but I had to ask the question because I wanted to get fact from fiction. It's just an exchange. It was easy to buy. It'll be even easier to sell, and the banks and the treasury-backed dealers will buy it from you, so you have a bidding war in your hands. Have you even considered that? Hopefully, after today, you will, okay? So you're asking the wrong questions, like I said. You should be asking yourself, what is my plan post-RV? What's my legacy going to be for my family? The Bible says, as a man, a good man in numbers, he says, leaves a legacy for his children and children's children. Okay, or if you're a single mom and you don't have that, then that still falls on you. What's your residual income, streams of revenue beyond this? If you got $10 million today, what would you do? Would you treat it like a lottery ticket or would you start having plans? The, the time to plan is now, folks. It's not when it happens. You're spending all your time on all the wrong things and you're distracted, which is where the enemy wants you. And again, it's tiring for you. It's tiring for us. So we are no longer going to address the same repetitive questions. What we're going to do is create an FAQ page, which we'll put as a link in the description in every subsequent video, which you can pay attention and draw down to. And you'll get those answers if you keep asking those questions. But we're not going to entertain it anymore. We're not going to answer you on Rumble. My team's not going to acknowledge it. We're just going to move on. We're making it very clear. So don't say we didn't tell you. We're telling you here and now. Ask better questions. Ask more cogent questions. Like the gentleman who asked about the Russian ruble and the Yugoslavian czar. That was a good question. That's why we addressed it with Chris earlier this week, because I thought it was important. It was out of the box, and it's forward thinking. You should be thinking about the next steps. Always be planning ahead. That's what we're here for. That's why we're here to help. So that's my piece. That's all I have to say about that. And if there's anything breaking uh, from this weekend's results of what we're anticipating for the attacks, we'll come on and let you know, of course. Otherwise, we'll see you next week for the shows and the weekly wrap-up. Thanks for listening and being a supporter. We appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day.